Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Um, I apologize for not updating you sooner. Um, I have a good excuse. <laughs> you can probably tell my voice is a little bit funny and there's good reason for that. Um, <laughs> so last Friday, I caught up with Dan and Claire that I'd met at the Folly the previous week um, up at Napton on the Hill. And one of you mentioned it was Dan's birthday um, on the Friday, so, um, which it wasn't actually, it was just an excuse for him and his mates from school to have a piss up. It was kind of a, a reunion. So I went up there anyway, thinking it was Dan's birthday and gave him a jar of jam for his birthday and stuff. And I was kind of the odd one out really, because <laughs> it was just him and his mates from school, you know. Um, anyway, so I went up to a pub called the Barley Mow. Now, if you're a boater, um, You'd know probably all about the barley now. Cute little pub, awesome little pub. Um, but we drank enough ale to sink a battleship. And then we went back to Dan and Claire's narrow boat and kept on partying till the wee hours. Huh. It was the first night, first big night I've had in a long time, actually. And as such, I lost my voice. So this is kind of the first time I've been sort of compass mentis, if you like. <laughs> um, and, you know, got my voice back to actually record a video. Um, so I'm still waiting for my control cable, um, which I've ordered. It should be, my um, partner will be delivering it this weekend. Um, so that I can move off again, because I'm sort of rugby on the Oxford Canal. I can move technically, but <laughs> you'll see from my previous video that um, I can only move at a snail's pace, crawl. Um, so I need my throttle back. So once I get that in, I'll be able to move off again. So I've been trying to keep myself busy. Um, I have lots of things to do. I've been buying, you know, the shops just there, you know, Tesco and stuff just there. I've been, you know, buying more food and cooking different things and going and getting firewood and doing laundry and all that kind of thing. Anyway, the Microsoft Surface Pro that Charlie got me was is an absolute piece of crap. You know, the battery kept on dying after, you know, I'd charge it for ages and then, you know, after using it for a couple of hours, the battery would die. Even though if it said, you know, I've still got 90 minutes of battery left, it would just die. So, Charlie, oh, bless you. So he sent me over the money and I had a little bit of retail therapy at Curry's. So I went and bought the latest and greatest laptop. So now I have a super duper laptop with really good battery life and really fast processor and all that kind of stuff. You know, state of the art kind of thing. <coughs> and I've been, <coughs> excuse me, and I've been um, setting up a website because there's a lot of stuff that I want to share with people that I can't really do in a vlog. Um, you know, and I love to write too, so this is fantastic for me. It's a great little project for me to do in my downtime, you know, particularly, you know, if the weather's really crap outside, which it has been. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff I want to share with people about life on the water. You know, as a bloke living on the water, um, the loneliness factor, the isolation... Um, I've even done a, an in-depth review of my Newport multi-fuel stove um, just to give people a little bit better understanding of yeah, life on water, life on the canals. A um, bit kind of more static information about life and what you got to do. Including a whole bunch of FAQs as well. Like I always get the question of, you know, why did you come over to Britain? Um, or, you know, that's not a, a British accent. Where are you from? Those sorts of things. So I wanted to kind of put all that into like a central place where people can go and read about, um, you know, my story more or less. So, um, yeah, I should be back on the move again in the next, you know, a few days to a week. Uh, once I get my control cable in. And also, my mate Ian um, has offered to come up. He's going to come up this weekend, he said, um, to start working out about installing my new electrical system. So that means I'll have proper navigation lights. So that means I'll be able to do the tunnel properly. 
Uh, so I've got Broadston Tunnel to do, and also um, the Blizzworth Tunnel. And I think Broadston Tunnel is like, something like four miles or five miles or something. So it's a really long tunnel, so I need proper navigation lights for that. And also, now I have my GoPro that I got from Charlie, I'll be able to record of it, record all of it as well. And so my kind of sense of adventure is really kicking in now, because um, I really can't wait to do, do it now. Once I've got the lights and have my GoPro set up, I'll be able to record the footage. Um, so I think my fear will, you know, eventually die and my sense of adventure will kick in. Because tunnels are, there's quite a few of them around the canal network and they're quite an amazing feature um, of, the, of the network. You know, I mean, it's one thing to build a canal, but it's quite another to build a tunnel on the canal as well. I mean, amazing, absolutely amazing how they did it. Oh, wait, yeah, wow. So, yeah, uh, stay tuned. I will be around. Um, my voice is getting better. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I'll be probably off and running again in the next week or so. So um, stay tuned for more updates soon.